Godzilla. Oh. Hello, my dude, Steph Koza here, and today we're talking about Godzilla. All right, so this is one of those reviews that's difficult because everyone knows that Godzilla and the Godzilla movies and this whole franchise isn't really a movie that you go to for the plot, for the characters, for the humans particularly. Most of this audience of this franchise doesn't really care about any of that. <laughs> and most of these people want to go see Godzilla to watch some giant monsters fight each other. So as one of those people, <laughs> I'm going to review this movie with that in mind, just so you know. Okay, so Godzilla King of the Monsters is a follow-up sequel to the 2014 Godzilla movie. It's an entirely new cast, aside for Godzilla, obviously, and also Ken Watanabe and Sally Hawkins. I'm not gonna lie, I don't really remember anything about that movie because it was so forgettable and not very good. But it doesn't really matter because this movie is basically an entirely new story. There are like tiny little references to the first movie, but like you don't really need to know the first movie because it's just, it's not really the point. <laughs> so basically in Godzilla King of the Monsters, Godzilla has been missing, hiding, underwater, in the ocean, somewhere, for like five years, I believe. And the world is recovering from his last attack. The main characters are this family, a mom, a dad who are now divorced, their daughter, played by Millie Bobby Brown, and the events that happened in the first Godzilla attack have sort of affected their family and their relationships now. So they're kind of like this broken family. They're all recovering in different ways. And they all have different motives and missions, and I don't want to spoil anything, but that's the gist of it. So something awakens Godzilla brings him back and then all of the other kaiju titan monsters all over the world start rising and waking up and breaking out of the earth and it's awesome we've got godzilla we've got mothra we've got the freaking three-headed dragon thing and a lot more that aren't in the trailers that i'm not going to tell you about but they're there and they're awesome and i'm pretty sure the like specific plot isn't actually in the trailer, so I'm not gonna tell you what it is, obviously. But I will say it was better than I thought it was gonna be. It was actually a very interesting plot. The characters have very interesting motives, and one in particular very much reminded me of Thanos. There's like this Thanos complex character in here, and that's cool. So that definitely gave it a few points for me, I thought. I mean, maybe it's because I had really low expectations for the plot, but I really kind of enjoyed the plot. I thought it was fun, it was enough. It still wasn't awesome, but it was better than I thought it was gonna be. I think the plot wasn't really the problem, it was mostly just the characters and there was just like way too much dialogue and way too many human interactions. Like, are they ever gonna understand that people do not go to these movies for the humans? Same with Transformers, it suffers from the same problem. Nobody cares about human beings. <laughs> I just want to watch Godzilla and Mothra and the dragon thing and all of these monsters, giant monsters just beating each other to a pulp. That is the only reason that I am here. And I think like the first act of this movie, there's like no monsters. It's so boring. And the entire time I was just like, where's Godzilla? Ah! And I think they're trying to like build up suspense and like make you just like really want it, which I guess succeeded, but it was mostly just very boring. It wasn't even like an exciting suspense. It was just like, okay, um, I don't care about any of you. Where's Godzilla? I feel like the characters were okay. I think the mom was probably the best character, aside from Ken Watanabe's character, who is the best. He's my favorite character. I love him so much. I also just love that actor. Like, just put him in every movie and I will watch it. But yeah, the mom was a great character. She had really great character development and she was just very complex as a person. The dad, eh, he was there. He did like one thing that was cool and the rest I was just like, eh, what is your purpose? Also Millie Bobby Brown's character. I don't know why she's in this movie. She doesn't really do anything. She's just kind of there to have things happen to her and react to stuff. But I could have been fine without her. This movie could have been totally exactly the same if she wasn't there except for this one thing that she does that's kind of helpful. But like anyone could have done it, okay? I don't know. It was like trying to get too complex into the like family dynamic 
relationship and I was like I'm literally here for Godzilla and giant monsters I do not care about this there was just too much dialogue there was so many long boring conversations and like really badly written dialogue like it's so cheesy at times there's like jokes that aren't funny there are so many times where they tried to make a joke and I think I maybe laughed at one of them it might have even been like a pity laugh it just tried a little too hard at times but it's saving grace is the monster fights. The monster fights are fucking awesome. And it was like the first monster fight that we get was so cool. I was like, this is the greatest thing ever. And then there were more monster fights and every single one was like significantly better than the last one. And I was just like, this is amazing. And then it would cut back to the humans and I was like, I don't care about you. Go back to the monsters. Please stop talking. Just, I want them to kill you all. That would have been fine with me. I would, that would have been a plot twist. A Godzilla movie where Godzilla kills all the humans. Though I think the one thing that I do love about Godzilla is that he's like kind of on the human side and that's sort of interesting. I don't know. I thought the monster fights were really fun. I had such a good time. The graphics were incredible. Like this is a surprisingly beautiful movie. I will say some of the fights went on a little bit too long. I was like, okay, literally how are you not dead yet? This is what is happening. But aside from that, I also don't really mind because I'd much rather watch a really long monster fight than like some weird government people talking about society like i don't care about your weird monarch whatever you're doing so in a nutshell godzilla king of the monsters was a slow kind of boring burn leading up to some really badass huge monster fights it also has a lot of little easter eggs teasing king kong which i uh i just can't wait to watch Godzilla beat up King Kong. I'm still a bit confused about how that's gonna happen because like Godzilla is just so much more powerful than Kong, right? There's just no question. This, it's no, it's a no brainer. He's gonna win. But like King Kong is a little bit more lovable. I don't know. I'm very excited to see that movie. But there are a lot of fun little Easter eggs in this movie. Like they talk about Skull Island. But every time it happened, I was just like, yes, yes, yes. This movie was a balance of being very bored and being very not bored. <laughs> about 50 50 and the writing was also terrible as a movie like as a piece of cinematic art i would say it's not really that great probably kind of forgettable because the plot itself isn't that interesting but visually the fight scenes were really awesome and the music was really cool and giant mo giant monsters giant monsters that's all i have to say so from that perspective i'd probably give it like a two but from the perspective of someone who loves giant monster godzilla movies I'm gonna give it a three. I feel like a three. I'm gonna give it a three. Like a hard three, like a high three, like a 3.25 if I could be that specific. Why don't you just go watch it and tell me what you thought about it and you can decide for yourself. So Godzilla King of the Monsters, did you see it? Let me know in the comments below what you thought about it. I would love to hear your thoughts. And until next time, I'm Seth Koza. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. I don't know why I'm doing superhero poses. Smash that like button if you like this video because YouTube has this stupid algorithm where nobody watches my videos unless they have a lot of likes. So give me a like, pretty please, if you liked it. But that's it for this video. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> that's a weird ending.